There were 40 demerits total following an inspection yesterday by the Department of Public Health and the Education Suruhano. And it was enough to force the closure of the school. And now the Department of Education is quickly working to make the necessary repairs to resume classes as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, our focus is to, to get the school ready today so that uh, we would be open tomorrow. That's our focus. The shutdown, according to the education superintendent, was the result of the 40 health and safety violations. But Suruhano, Dominic Terlahi, says there were five or six demerits which were remaining from an inspection done back in March of this year. Terlahi says it's unacceptable that those issues have not yet been addressed. In fact, health inspectors reportedly issued warnings in recent weeks for those issues to be fixed. What I'm looking at right now is uh, I pre pretty much reviewing the, uh, the Mar uh, March inspection. And I know uh, in reviewing that, I've, I've noticed that uh, the, uh, the water fountain and the urinals issue um, hasn't been addressed. So that's, that's one thing that I need to follow up with the administrator, uh, both of maintenance as well as the school administrator. Associate yeah, Superintendent was Arlene Ampinko was at the school today working with school officials to ensure everything was done. She says the citations included overgrown vegetation, rubber tires left in the field to attract mosquitoes, and leaks found throughout the campus. They also uh, cited the uh, leak on the, uh, this uh, walkway, and so those are just some of the, uh, uh, the citations that were noted, the air conditioner uh, in some of the classrooms. Ampinko says while the matter is a real concern, the department has come a long way in addressing the issues that forced a good number of public schools to be closed in previous years. I would like to say that, uh, what, two years ago, we've had practically uh, a lot of the schools uh, were shut down. And so, uh, you know, we are making progress in that uh, uh, we don't have as many of those schools that are, are uh, a lot of the issues are being addressed right now. Uh, and so I would say that, you know, we're, we're uh, making progress. We just need to ensure that we have the uh, financial uh, resources to procure the, uh, the resources that we need.